Hey guys, and welcome to What's Up Dude. Hi everyone. Hello guys. So I hope you're okay and you have a wonderful day or a wonderful night, whatever. Um, how are you, Alex? I'm doing pretty great. The sun is shining and um, I'm still in vacation. So everything like is... you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So I'm, I'm doing great. What about you? Oh, so much to say. So much to say, but I know this is that... the topic of today. I know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How am I supposed to start? I don't know. Where, where are you? Where am I? I'm in Florida, in Tampa. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so today the episode is going to be all about this experience. Which is kind of weird for me because, you know, like we are, are two on this podcast. Mm -hmm. So I don't really like just talking about myself. But it's okay. Sometimes you, you, you know, you can. So okay, and I'm very excited to ask you some questions. Ooh, so ooh, feel ooh. it feels like an it feels like an interview. Yeah. So I think so. first I should like explain the context. So first of all, <laughs> um, everything began just before the pandemic. Uh, I I do a language degree, languages degree, just as you, Alex. And the thing is, uh, when you do this degree, you can study abroad for a semester or two. So that was my goal, but COVID again, our best friends. So anyway, um, I began to plan this, uh, like in November, 2020, that was the hardest time of my life, you know, and go listen the episode of November, 2020. Sure. Like we already talk about this, like we talk about some project that is mine. Um, from November to August last month, uh, I was planning to do this experience. And so I took two planes and here I am in Florida for studying a semester at the University of South Florida, uh, which is USF. And uh, some people, okay, I'm going to talk about this joke because it's really, really funny. I met someone in... Um, she is here uh, for four years and she has to study again. And so for her, USF is not University of South Florida, but it's you stay forever. So <laughs> basically the same letters. Yeah. My question for you would be why Florida and uh, yeah, why not another state? Or country yeah so we had the choice to travel in a lot of countries and my dream was to go to Canada because that's my goal like this is the coolest country for me and um, so I apply in for different uh, college colleges in North America and so I applied in three colleges uh, one in Canada, one in Florida, this one, and the last one is in Hawaii. I thought you were going to say Hawaii. I was like, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, yeah, uh, USF accepted me. Thank you. I appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, it was really hard, to be honest, because especially during COVID times, you have so much paper to complete. And yeah, this is like with the vaccine with so much can, can you please uh, tell the listeners your experience with the vaccine oh my because God. it was really funny i'm sorry for you it's funny for, yes not for yes. me yes so um i've been tested covid positive twice i've been tested positive to covid twice it's better <laughs> yeah, um it's better. before the vaccine was uh, available and so I get the vaccine in May 2021 um, and because I was tested positive during the pandemic um, twice. twice yeah uh, the French government say okay if you are tested positive during the pandemic you only need to receive one dose um, but it's just in France you know you are vaccinated 
uh, if even if you only had one dose because you're you've already been tested positive uh, but here in the united states it's completely different because if you have been tested positive you need to have the two dose doses those i don't even know what you say the two shots the two shots yeah shots <laughs> So I was like, okay, and if you don't have the two shots, you need to quarantine yourself when you came here. And how long? And 10 days. Yeah. And well, first of all, I can't pay a hotel for 10 days. It's not in my budget. Yeah. Um, and then it's, it's boring because like I need to go to class, especially during the first week, because it's when, pe when teachers explain what we are going to study and so much information that you have to take um so yeah it was my i was so stressed because i was like how am i supposed to do and so i get the second shot uh at the end of july and yeah so i was vaccinated before going to the united states and don't have to quarantine myself during uh the beginning of my stay so yeah and the schedule was like pretty tight oh yeah because when I think when you you learned that you needed to be vaccinated twice, it was already like July. Like yeah, it said. was the end of July. It was I had like not even a month before leaving the yeah. country. And in France, you need to have a an appointment, an appointment, an, an appointment. Yeah, yeah, and it is really complicated to get one sometimes. So it was. I think you were in a rush. Oh yeah. But it was really um, tense. Yeah, I met someone who was even worse than me because he got the two shots of vaccine. I and get, then he got COVID. Yeah. I get oh no, tested. shoot. Oh no. That's oh, a TikTok. No. <laughs> um, what did you say? Uh, it's the TikTok, you know. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. no, no anyway, no. <laughs> you get tested positive to COVID. 15 days is kind of okay. Uh, so yeah, he did this uh, another test uh, like the Monday, and he was supposed to leave the country on the Thursday. So he was negative to leave the country, and yeah, but really stressful like situation. So you already told us how long you've been preparing for this project, and was there some important things to do before leaving the country, which is France, and coming and applying? to um, North America colleges. colleges. Um, the first thing is the beautiful TOEFL exam. <laughs> Incredible experience. Ooh. Wow, cannot wait uh, to do mine. <laughs> um, <laughs> so the TOEFL exam, for those who don't know, is basically an exam where you're supposed to, it's not like you fail or you pass. It's just a, an, a score and yeah. it depends some colleges uh are like oh you have to be to have like a hundred out of 120 to apply to this college and most of the colleges i applied for was 80. the thing is um so if you are 80 it means you are available like not available you are able to understand what teachers say during class classes so I mean, you can survive, but it was, it was weird because I heard about this TOEFL exam like 15 days before my exam. So I was like, ah, I just got two weeks to prepare this. I'm and not going to say anything, but, um, yeah. And you have to pay the exam. And <laughs> as I said, it's not like you, you fail or you pass. So in any way you have to pay whatever your score is after. So it's. 200 euros i don't know the yeah 200 euros the conversion in yeah actually you don't have a conversion i just thought about it because uh, if you live in america it means <laughs> and you're american so yeah um uh, the TOEFL exam was pretty tough i passed not even if like you don't fail parts but got 80 that's it just 80 like the, yeah yeah to be honest i didn't think i was going to have 80 I was like, okay, so I'm not going to North America. Um, <laughs> but I she did was it. like really stressed. Oh, yeah, she was I, like, I cried. I cannot talk today, Alex, because I mean, really, 
I'm in a bad mood. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to have like a good score. Yeah. Oh, I cried and because I was look like, at I paid for this exam <laughs> and still not got it. <laughs> well, look at you. You're yeah. in America right now, so it doesn't mean nothing. This is America. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, so the TOEFL exam and after is pretty easy because a lot of people help you in the process. Like, for example, um, housing, meal spans or whatever. Oh, the after yeah. Passing the TOEFL and yeah, the other they paper you need to do. And the other step, which were which was hard, is getting the visa, especially during a pandemic, um, <laughs> <laughs> because um, so to study abroad, abroad you have to have um, a certain paper, which is the DS twenty nineteen. Oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> It's just a paper. DS twenty nineteen eighty four hundred and millions. <laughs> yeah, it's just a paper that the university gave you, um, and it's like when um, you should arrive. What are you gonna do at the university? Where are you gonna study? When? Just the details of your yeah, state. the details of yeah and why so, you're going to America. Yeah, and so that's the proof. Uh, that you are able to go, especially during a pandemic where tourists can't go to the United States. So you're like, I'm not a tourist. I need <laughs> to get my visa, please. And I need so, to study. <laughs> and so, yeah, I get the paper at the beginning of June. It was it a was, long time ago. It was late. It was really late. And so I was like, okay, I need to do stuff to get my visa. And my appointment was at the beginning of August. Oh my god, I remember that. Yeah, it was <gasps> the beginning of August, the 3rd of August. And it, I was supposed to leave the 18th of August. When you get your appointment at the embassy, you don't have directly your visa. You have to wait like a week Ten or two. Day, yeah. yeah. So it was really, really hard. And so I finally get an appointment earlier uh, during mid-July. So get my visa at the end of July. Yeah. Yeah. And so I buy, I bought, sorry, my plane tickets. That's it. But yeah, the TOEFL and the visa was really, really hard because you have to do by yourself. Uh, and you're like, oh, I'm not supposed to do that. And that's because it is your first time also. Yeah. Because also. some, some people are used to do that. Yeah. So and it's, I think also the pandemic, like, the embassy, for example, couldn't get a lot of appointments because a lot of people were working at home. So yeah, that's the thing. Too. Yeah. So yeah, you have to think about a lot of things. To be honest, so I was in internship during like the final <laughs> papers. And it was a mess. Oh, it, it was, was a mess. mess. I was like, I love my internship, even if I'm not paid. I work and like, like, yeah, I love it. You know, I don't want to do the papers and boring stuff and so i was like yeah let's go work it's better but uh yeah i didn't sleep for two months but uh yeah well that's okay because now you can sleep yeah and you're in america so that's okay so what what were your first thoughts when you arrived in florida like because i know the weather is really hot and humid which is completely different different of our weather where we live in France. And yeah, I'm really curious about that. Um, first of all, I need to precise two things. The first one is I'm here for two weeks already. So it's been oh, two you've weeks. Been, you've been here, yeah. Yeah, I've been here for two weeks, even a little more. Um, so yeah, and the th second thing is I've already been to the United States, not in Florida, but in California. Because in... yeah, she's a Cali girl. Yeah. Let's say that. <laughs> <laughs> she's so, a Cali girl. Uh, California and um, the East Coast uh, with New York and Washington. But Damn. I've Sorry. never been <laughs> to, to Florida. Um, so it was really new for me, even though... I kind of know the culture, like the basic culture. Uh, it's such a big country that you can't have the same culture everywhere, of course. I know. Um, so the first thing um, I noticed here 
is to be honest was not the weather because i knew that it's gonna be completely different um the first thing i noticed uh is how people are super friendly here like i remember um a woman was supposed to help me with my languages and help me to go to the university and yeah. so like she was so nice you know really and i was like actually everywhere even in the elevator elevator people talk to you can i say something about that yeah sure because um sometimes i feel like when people are friendly like they're not really yeah i know uh, what you mean like if you have so many friends yeah you that's don't have weird really for friends. me because i'm not yeah. used to that and sometimes i'm really like i'm like i'm watching americans you know and i'm like oh can you please stop uh doing your i don't know to say yeah that. no like it's your... it's the culture because um like they're friendly but they're not like hey you're my besties just because we're in the elevator <laughs> yeah but they're friendly which is yeah they're friendly, really like, weird because we yeah it's weird friends. for us because but for example last night i was in the elevator and the guy asked uh the girl uh, like where where do you go to shop because we like, haven't found any shops <laughs> yeah yeah but that's the only thing and you're like this never well in my experience this never happened in france never like you, you, you don't touch say, people in the yeah, elevator like, you're like where you where you go like which level okay three okay thanks and that's <laughs> it <laughs> um but yeah so that's the first thing i have so much to say but i think we're going to do like another episode where yeah we're going to split a whole the episode, episode i think yeah yeah um because it's only just been two weeks so yeah but i think it's important also to talk about how i've been through the translation tra no the like the way i like my life in how, france and my life in florida yeah how your not your mental but how you perceived everything yeah um oh um <laughs> okay that was the, su the summary of everything oh <laughs> yeah um that was really really hard that, that was the yeah that was really really hard because i'm 19 so i've never been out, out of the country alone and because of COVID, for example, my family couldn't help me in the process. Like, hey, so I don't know, for example, my mother, I'm going to take the plane with you. So we're going to, you know, fix the last Figure problems out yeah, together, yeah. there and I'm going to be back in France. No, she couldn't uh, because she didn't have the famous DS 2019. 400. <laughs> <laughs> One million. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> And so um, I was completely alone. And when I started to think about this project, it was not in this situation. Like mm. COVID didn't exist. Um, yeah. It did. Exi no. Existed? No. Oh, no, no. Did not, didn't. Yeah. didn't oh, exist. sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I should work on my English, actually. It's okay. Um, that's okay. the one in America. Back to school is coming for you. Um, so, yeah, it was really hard in... To be honest, I thought about buy a ticket to go back to Paris um, during almost a week because, um, like, it's not my home, it's not my place, it's not my culture, it's not my language. I don't know anyone, and as I said, it's not my culture, so it's really even more complicated for me to be friendly as they are here yeah yeah it's not my nature but either. i think you need to time to adapt also True. because two weeks even if you did amazing amazing things you still haven't seen everything oh and sure i don't know like maybe some it takes time yeah sure um uh, but um like for example the first days was like everybody was like hey so what's your name where where are you study uh, and i'm like it's not my thing you know 
You're like, uh, can you leave me alone, yeah, please? Yeah, I've never been. I'm sad. <laughs> I'm homesick. <laughs> I've never been the new. So I'm like, how am I the supposed new kid, yeah. to? Yeah, I'm supposed to do that. Even if everybody's new, uh, well, all freshmen. But yeah, it's it was weird to be honest. Like, it's only been a couple of days where I find like I don't cry anymore. Where I wake up and I'm like, okay, so it's a new day, and that's it, you know. And I think it's okay to cry, yeah. Um, because when you leave your home, and uh, you've never left home, and you go like, you know, a whole new country, it's not like you're going to the UK, like you're at the other on side the of other ocean. side, on the other side of the ocean. So that's really un understandable. Is that even a world? A word? I don't know. <laughs> But um, many people, sometimes they don't want to admit that they, they cry because they miss their, their home. And uh, yeah, I think it is okay. I just feel you're like everybody is happy to be in college, not to study, obviously, because, you know, we're young and we're like, I don't want to school at 8 a.m. But um, they're happy to be here because They're some of them, yeah. Some of them are like, okay, bye. And like, <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> they're gonna live their life, you know? Yeah, but, but it, me, it's even like even weird because I'm just leaving the country for a semester, which is not really long, but for me, it's like the hardest thing and, I've ever yeah. experienced. And also in France, um, I think we already mentioned that um, for us, we do not leave the our home to go to university because um, our university is like 30 minutes away so we leave home and in the united states people this is the the biggest steps of their lives because they're leaving their home sometimes people are coming from like yeah. texas and they're going to new york you know yeah sure well i'm leaving on the campus i mean never say that but i'm leaving on the campus so obviously everyone who is here is not from Tampa because yeah. why would you pay a room if you live on Tampa? I um, don't know. <laughs> Some people do. <laughs> and so obviously everyone has left uh, their their family, even if it's just five hours away. So that's it. Um, but yeah. Uh, also, uh, <laughs> yeah. T tell us. Tell us. Um, if you want, it's wanna... all about you, honey. I hate that. <laughs> Um, if you want to, like, um, how do you say that? Like, follow my trip. Uh, you can yeah. still follow on my Instagram. Something which is... I don't do. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Alex. Um, You're welcome. Yeah. Always which there is, for you. Which is um, Word and Adventures. I think I will write it. Um, we're going to, yeah. We're going to put uh, your IG, your travel IG yeah. on the description of the episode sure. so you can see her beautiful pictures you know wow so yeah i need um, to stop talking like that <laughs> yeah so yeah and uh yeah did you manage to make friends okay so that's the end of the podcast no i'm, ki <laughs> I'm kidding it's been only two weeks so you can't yeah, call but, them um, yeah, friends friends but, but yeah i met people um some of them I like plan something with them, but it's only like yeah, it's still very rare uh, to do something with people because, as I said, it's been two weeks, and yeah, also never say that, but a lot of my classes are online, which sucks. Uh yeah, I pay for that. Oh my god, it's yeah. Online. So. Many people are have classes like in person, so it's even easier, it's easier to have friends. And so, yeah, it's been two weeks, so some of them has already managed to have friends. You know, they're from their buddy. And uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, but this word is really funny. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. So. I found I, I I like I met people, uh, they're really nice, 
um yeah i you know i don't think i need like hundreds of friends yeah i know but um i don't know yeah i like need a to little I, group yeah and definitely need to meet people uh because sometimes because i've like two friends um sometimes i'm like hey do you want to hang out and they're like i can't i'm busy and i'm like okay so i ask the other one and the other one don't answer and i'm like okay so i'm alone here <laughs> um that's so okay. yeah that's okay it's part of the process exactly and uh what i i think maybe people are curious of what are you studying is um the courses are the same as in france or not and uh Yeah, I think okay. people are going to ask about that. Yeah, so... <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. I act like some people are really curious about our life, which is our lives, which is not the case. I don't even know why I'm doing that. So just, you know, explain. Explain yeah. to me. Explain it to me. So my back to school was two weeks ago, which is really early compared mine to is not, France. Mine is like at the end of the month. So Shut like... up. <laughs> um yeah so you're back you are going to have you back to school and it, it will have been a month a month yeah <laughs> yeah oh my god yeah so whatever um so it's very different um i needed to have five classes um so i chose spanish for business and international trade i chose introduction to environmental policies I chose public speaking, I chose introduction to tourism management, and I chose introduction to hospitality and tourism. And uh, how has it been going so far? Well, the first week is weird because, you know, obviously teachers are like, so what are we going to study? And we just talk because you can always change your classes during the first week. Really? So, yeah. We cannot do that in France. We can't we can't choose our classes. We period. cannot choose anything. Yeah. Um but it's way cheaper. Um <laughs> so, so we don't have anything to say. Yeah. <laughs> And so obviously the first week teacher won't like begin to teach harsh like, in everything. a deep way because maybe people are gonna leave maybe people are going to arrive next week the, the yeah the yeah. next week so yeah we just talked about the syllabus and um i hate this word and yeah no that was that was cool but um so i just have like a real first week this week of classes and actually monday we don't work because lucky it's, you it's a holiday i'm sorry you don't work every day <laughs> i know <laughs> i know so it's a holiday so yeah um so uh, my schedule is monday and wednesday i just work on those days uh i mean like i just have like classes. specific classes yeah and For some classes, I need to work by myself, uh, like read, uh, watch videos, and then answer and and yeah, uh, do an assignment. But I can do it whenever I want. So yeah, I, I'm trying to find a balance and say, okay, so like if I can finish uh, all of these things um, on Thursday or Friday, it can be good. Because I don't want to yeah. work on Saturday. And, and you Saturday. can go out in the city also because it is huge. Like the campus and the outside of the campus is really huge. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've been to Tampa, uh, downtown Tampa yesterday. Um, it was, first of all, oh, yeah, I've never thought about it. I'm sorry. Too many things. Uh, the weather, ew, man. It's sunny but you don't know for what time like it's sunny okay. and maybe and then, 10 minutes there is a storm you don't know and so always sometimes, gonna bring your umbrella yeah, yeah sometimes you're oh, i'm going to class but you don't know if you're going to be like soak in the rain yeah, yeah exactly the so, weather is different yeah yeah it's completely different and it was not raining yesterday when i went to downtown tampa 
so appreciate thank you sky uh, <laughs> uh it was sunny it was hot it was really hot and uh, leslie cannot handle I, yeah i have sunburn warm weather uh, gotta wear your sunscreen every day and reapplying to every two hours. <laughs> Thanks. <so. laughs> that is a that is true. That is a yeah, real okay, advice okay. for everyone. Yeah. Please okay. wear your sunscreen. Okay. Okay, man. Um, <laughs> oh, you don't need, you in don't downtown have, yeah. Tampa, yeah. I couldn't find any shops. Like maybe next time you will yeah. go. I was so disappointed because I wanted to buy you know some stuff just in souvenir. As people say the souvenir 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 yeah if you want to see uh, the photos of downtown tampa please go check her ig yeah the photos are beautiful post, like, really because i like post three three pictures and yeah so yeah and also like i posted on instagram and you should read the caption because i'm like talking about what I'm feeling. That's really interesting. Yeah. Uh, especially when I didn't know if I will go back to Paris. Hey, or not. Yeah. There so, would have been such a, you know, a drama episode going back to France because cannot cultural stay. Cultural shock. Yeah, I cannot support this cultural shock. And uh, I have nothing against. Been... <laughs> yeah, sorry. Okay. okay. Uh, I have nothing against um the united states you know i love this yeah. culture but it's just it's not mine so obviously i need time but i didn't want to have time to do like it. sometimes you gotta force yourself to yeah but i was get like, really through hard. every steps of the process yeah it was really hard because to be honest i didn't want to die because <laughs> no i mean for real like i didn't eat i didn't sleep I was like, what the fuck am I doing here? You know, I wanted this since I'm 13 and I'm here and I hate that. Mm. So I don't want to die because like, really, I lost weight and I saw myself in a mirror. And I'm like, is because that you me? were stressed. Yeah, you yeah, were stressed. And my clothes were too big and I'm like, ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys are in the same situation. Or if you're all... going to study abroad. It's, yeah it's, it's normal gonna, it's normal but please eat we need it because i was like you're in florida like you've you're yeah near i the worked beach. for that i paid for that yeah a, a dream i dreamed it and here i am complaining of myself but she's okay now yeah don't worry she's eating well she's eating delicious stuff and sending me pictures yeah. when um i cannot have that that's okay. It's Waffles be your turn and first. eggs. <laughs> Waffles and eggs and Waffle. everything. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Eggs. I miss that. Yeah, also because... Do I you already... want to talk about the foods? <laughs> <laughs> so many things, man. Uh, I, I eat only once a day. Because I eat not often, but I eat a lot. Ew. And... <laughs> <laughs> Why ew? Food is delicious. No, but I know, but I love this sound, so I'm doing ew okay. every time. Um, food is delicious. Let's talk about that. Um, I'm French, so food is a member of my family. Here in America, is completely different. I mean, can you can you feel the sadness in my voice? I can. Where is the fucking bread? Where there. where is it? I mean, I need it. You know. It's been two weeks without bread. Am I doing a detox or what? <laughs> she got some bread. Also, the chocolate. Where is the chocolate? There is chocolate, but it's so much expensive. And you know, um, you know what? I saw a video and people uh, coming from Europe and France and Belgium, they were saying that the, the American's chocolate is really different of what, of what we eat. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't know because I saw the price. I was like, "Ew, the famous ew." Too expensive. Yeah, and without I taxes, think... like you saw the price, but there are no taxes in the price. So you're like, it's not the real price, man. 
you're like it's about 10 euros and that's eight <laughs> yeah um which is not in euros alex because we're in america yeah but, but I'm, yeah i'm <laughs> friends so yeah i don't think in dollars <laughs> yeah and for example i bought oh i'm gonna say that brioche brioche like... yeah oh, it's wait. called brioche you know whatever uh, wait. and wait 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 it's brioche in 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 english but Wait. they say like brioche they really say this yeah yeah really it's written on my product true yeah i know i mean i'm living here <laughs> brioche it's a basic word that you need here um but man it's disgusting <laughs> it's so <laughs> it's so disgusting i'm like ew again uh, what if you need to eat the real f yeah but i was like no like I, not yeah, the the food you used to eat here yeah but i mean like french fries i mean i get it french fries okay they are, no i think they have something else no yeah i know but Don't on the they? campus we have like a cafeteria i don't know how to say that but um like you can eat salads hamburgers french fries pastas waffles oh, oh you have pastas yeah just eat like at sorry uh pasta a few days ago was so happy because i love pasta so much were they good yeah actually yeah okay, um, okay. um there were there was a um, vegan sauce but yeah uh the food is different it's okay just for a semester <laughs> this was yeah i mean i mean i need my vegetables where are don't my... you have I they mean, don't have vegetables in the cafeteria 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 yeah i don't know how to say this word cafeteria. they have but like, they're not good it's the same one in like broccoli <laughs> the famous one uh yeah <laughs> really yeah carrots um, carrots yeah but you know i don't know it's okay you know i don't complain because you have vegetables first of all so, and yeah. you can eat so yeah yeah that's it especially waffle i love waffle <laughs> so because i don't like my when i make waffles they're not that good and also i'm lazy because like you need to put them in the you know waffle maker oh yeah but everything is done here like people i know that's for why you I... and so you uh... just have to boop full cup boop in the machine <laughs> boop that's it <laughs> i think we're going to end this first episode like first part of this episode here i'm really curious of what you're going to say at the end of your trip and semester and also how you're going to improve in english yeah maybe maybe you're going to have an, ac an accent i don't know um we're going to see that yeah and, uh, and also i'm here for full semester which means i'm going to experience the halloween thing and the thanksgiving thing and maybe yeah. maybe because my semester will end the 10th of december so maybe if i stay christmas and new year yeah because i also really want to go to chicago or maybe i can talk about what i want to do for this semester and then we can reflect on it you know yeah also. yeah yeah okay totally, okay. Totally. okay okay you're in i love it um, <laughs> <laughs> totally <laughs> so i have a few things like the first one is going to Chicago. I mean, I swear to God, you're going to Chicago without me. I'm going to be so pissed off. <laughs> oh, we're going to go to Chicago, but first I need to explore the city to explain. Oh, so, to so when I come, you will, yeah, okay, exactly, okay, okay. You know, I'm not your friends for you know for, for nothing. I yeah. know. I want to go to Chicago, uh, even more uh, because you met people here and they're from everywhere and yeah. so for example i have two friends who went to chicago this weekend and this is so beautiful and wow. yeah i met also someone who is from actually chicago and <laughs> explained it chicago is the best city okay <laughs> got it <laughs> it was funny but um so yeah chicago maybe new york don't you want to go to miami because you're you are already in Florida, and I feel like Miami could be a great, great city because you have like the Spanish and the English aspect. Yeah, sure. Uh, I want to go everywhere, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, mm -hmm. Miami is 
five hour away from Tampa, I think. It's not that far, so maybe you can yeah, go. Yeah, maybe. Oh, you oh, could go. So, oh my god, so many things. I want to go to Orlando. Orlando? Orlando, yeah. Yeah, um, because Disney World? Uh, Universal Studios. And Disney World? Universal Studios. <laughs> Disney World? <laughs> okay, Alex. <And> <laughs> If you uh, go to, oh my god, Universal Studios, Spongebob, I Harry like. Potter, man. Oh, oh, I don't Spongebob. care about Harry Potter. I don't like Okay, Harry that's the Potter. end of the entire podcast. Bye. <laughs> uh, I mean, Spongebob. Yeah, Spongebob, obviously. I mean. And Jurassic, Jurassic Park? Yeah. Harry Potter, man. Harry Potter. Damn. If you go to Universal Studios, you really need to take pictures and... Yeah, sure. Show it to the public, you know. Yeah, the public it's so funny don't because have. it's so funny because in the second season we're like, we're talking like we talk in real life. Yeah, because <laughs> there is this uh... damn word that you say, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, the first season was like the exper the first experience. We were shy. And... Now here are we. Yeah. Oh. So you want to go to Chicago? I want to um, go to Chicago. O Orlando. Orlando, Miami. Uh, Hola. New York, oh, Sorry. Miami. Sorry. Uh, yeah, New York, of course, because yeah. it's not that far from and Chicago. And also, maybe if I'm go to Miami, sorry, um, going to yeah. see the Everglades, obviously. Obviously, um, that's it. I think you know I'm here for a semester, so you you've got time. Yeah, and I think and I hope. Not think, and I hope you're going to make the the best of it. The best experience of my life, because everything is about experience. Someone <laughs> told me that experience mean failure is an experience because you're going to learn about it. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> really cannot wait to see what the next the yeah next Leslie not not the next next Leslie, Leslie. <laughs> but um. The end of semester, Leslie is going to say, and yeah, yeah it's gonna be. Yeah. Here. It's gonna I be don't really experience. talk about this. Like you don't talk during the entire episode. I feel bad. I did talk. I was like reacting to what you were saying. Hola, Miami. <laughs> yeah. No, it's okay because it was like an episode about you. Yeah. And where you are, and I think. Even if I didn't talk, people are going to be interested, interested because, yeah, the topic is, is great. So please, guys, let us know um, if you enjoy this episode. What is the subject uh, you want us to talk about? Yeah. Uh, like, especially like American culture, maybe you want yeah. to talk about something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, the difference of, I don't know, pronunciation. Just think about that because here you say Nike. In France, we don't say Nike. Uh, like anyway. every every little little things like this. So, yeah. yeah, we're going to make an IG story about that. Sure. So you can you can participate to this episode. So thank you guys for listening. Thank you, Leslie, for telling us all about your experience. Really enjoyed it. And um, can so I also you, say, yeah, <laughs> can I also yeah? So you were saying, say, but yeah. I thought about it, and I'm like. I have to do it. I I want to thank you, Alex, because like you always been here. <laughs> You're gonna cry. Uh, <laughs> you always been here since the beginning. Um, not since I'm 13, but uh, yeah, like since the end of high school. You know that I really wanted to do it. Um, so thank you because you saw me. Oh my God, you saw me. Sometimes I was depressed. <laughs> I was the person. Oh, am I supposed to do that? And you were like, "You're going to do this." So, I appreciate. It, really, thank you. You're going to make it, and you are already here, so it's okay. Thank You're you. You're welcome. So again, thank you for listening. Oh no, we have an IG. If I did not say that, uh, what subject part is going to be in the description of the video? Yeah. The episode. I'm not on YouTube again. And uh, yeah, see you very soon. See bye -bye, you. Guys. Have an amazing day. Thank you.